Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you several videos that I uploaded to YouTube, how much money they made in ad revenue, and my most successful video. So let's talk first about this channel and what I initially set out to do. So initially, I wanted this to be about investing, and I made some videos on how much money I made uh, investing in realty income, um, Omega, Healthcare investors, Robinhood, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? It's all about investing, spending money on investing, things like that. And I've started this in 2019, so several years ago. And where I am today is completely different than what I initially set out to do, because as you will see, the content that I make that's been the most successful actually has nothing to do with investing in stocks. And to prove my point, here's a video that I made that's a portfolio update. So as you can see, it's an $18,000 portfolio update. And if we go to the analytics, it's only made 15 cents in revenue. It's got a lot of watch hours, you know, more than 2000 views. It got me 69 subscribers, but the revenue only 15 cents, very little. And this one, I made this, it's how to invest in the stock market for beginners and making about 10% a year, which is pretty useful if you're a beginner and you're wanting to learn how to invest. If we go to the analytics, as you can see, the revenue, 27 cents. So just a couple cents. It's got, you know, around 79.3 watch hours, 2.1K views. I gained 12 subscribers. I only made 27 cents in ad revenue on this video. So as you can see, when I make videos about um, investing and showing you my portfolio and giving a tutorial for beginners on how to invest, I only make a couple of cents. Now, this is a video that I made on PayPal, PayPal Pay in 4. And I used PayPal Pay in 4 and I gave some examples on how I used it. Obviously, this is not about investing in stocks. It's about sort of splitting up payments into four small payments. If we go to the analytics, as you can see, this has actually done very, very well compared to my other videos on investing in the stock market. Look at this. Revenue, $115.27. 7.2K views, 312.3 watch hours, and I gained 13 subscribers. But the revenue is what stands out. Whereas the other videos that I made on investing in the stock market only made a couple of cents, this one made over $100. And it's about splitting up payments into four payments using PayPal. Let's look at another video. Now, this one is about a firm. Now, a firm is something that I use to sort of borrow money to spend on, uh, you know, buying my phone and my computer and to split it up into small payments, similar to the other one, PayPal paying for. Except this one is not just four payments. It's like it was over several years, actually. I think it was over two years. So if we go to the analytics, look at this. Revenue, $174.30. 13.5K views, 601.2 watch hours, and I gained 39 subscribers. But yes, $174. Much more money than how much the, the videos on stock market investing made. Here is another video I made on a firm. Again, I use a firm for zero interest loans to buy my phone and my desktop. And I made a video on it on how I use a firm to split it up into many, many payments over several years. This has nothing to do with my initial goal for this channel, which was to make videos on stock market investing. 
If we go to the analytics, estimated revenue, $175.21. 15.8k views, 600, sorry, 763.5 watch hours, and I gained 50 subscribers. But as you can see, my videos that I make on a firm do very well. They, they make uh, about $175. Now, if I continue this trend and I keep on making more videos on a firm, then I'm pretty sure those videos will do well also. Um, because these two that I made on a firm, they made me really good money. Especially compared to uh, my usual videos on investing in stocks. Now, I'm going to show you guys my most successful video. And if you haven't guessed it already, it has nothing to do with investing in stocks and options and whatnot. I initially started this channel to talk about investing in stocks and options. And my most successful video that has the highest revenue has nothing to do with any of that. It's this one, Amazon Flex, Whole Foods. This is a video I made for my side gig doing Amazon Flex and delivering food. It's about delivering food. And this is my most successful YouTube video that I've uploaded. If we go to the analytics, 17K views, 1.1K watch hours, I gain 123 subscribers. Look at the revenue, $310.04. You compare that to a portfolio update, which makes 15 cents, a video on um, investing for beginners, which made 27 cents, $310.04 for this video about delivering food. Now, this kind of shows me that YouTube can be very unpredictable sometimes. Even if I create a YouTube channel with an initial intention of making a certain type of content, I was able to sort of pivot the content that I made and make videos on, you know, splitting up payments and delivering food and things like that. And it ended up being much more successful than the type of videos that I initially sought out to do. So I guess something to learn is that it's not always bad to sort of pivot the type of content away from what you initially sought out to do because you might get lucky and find out that YouTube will reward you for a certain type of different content, right? Even if it's not what you initially thought you were gonna make the channel on, it could end up being very rewarding. So I'm glad that I was able to experiment and sort of branch out from just investing in stocks and make other type of content that ended up doing much better. Now, the downside is, I actually do not do Amazon Flex anymore. Sad, isn't it? Now, if this was something that I was still doing on a regular basis, oh my goodness. How much money could I be making, right? If I made like around $300 per video on Amazon Flex. And I don't want to force myself to get back into it because I found a different side gig that I like much better than Amazon Flex. However, those type of videos have not taken, they've not blown up yet. Um, the videos I make on reselling, they don't do that well. Even though in real life, I'm doing very well reselling, but making content on YouTube for reselling hasn't really taken off, which is kind of sad because that is now my main side hustle. It's now my main side gig that I do. I don't do Amazon Flex anymore, or else I would be making more videos of, you know, ride-alongs of me doing Amazon Flex. Um, but like I said, I don't want to force myself. I just want to be showing what I'm actually doing. And what I'm actually doing is um, reselling 
collectible merchandise. So that's what I'm going to be making content on, even though it doesn't do that well in terms of revenue. I just want to show what I'm actually doing. So there you go. That's my most successful video in terms of revenue. And I will still continue to make portfolio updates, even though they only make me a couple of cents. Um, I know that a lot of my watchers, they want to see updates on how I'm doing with my portfolio and investing. So even though they're not successful and they don't make much revenue, I'll still sometimes upload what my portfolio is and what my positions are. But as you can see, the videos that make me the most money have nothing to do with investing in stocks. So this channel is kind of taking a weird turn because the thing that I originally thought I was going to be making videos on makes me a couple of pennies. So yeah. And I think moving forward, I still want to experiment even more and maybe branch out to other types of content and see if that does well on this channel also because like I said, YouTube can be very unpredictable and surprising. I do plan to keep on making content for this channel, and I can't wait to see what type of content is going to blow up next, because I still want to sort of branch out and experiment and try new things to see what YouTube will reward me for, because apparently it's not um, investing in stocks as the most rewarding for me personally. I know some people, they like to make that their main content and their channel has done very well. But for me, it's been the opposite. YouTube is basically pushing me to make other types of content instead. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's my most uh, successful video in terms of revenue, along with, you know, comparisons to other types of content I made. And I hope you guys found this useful and learned something from it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.